everybody. Right, the lads have been going through the water. I'm sure that's an old BSA or ban. I can't remember, it's trials bike, but the blue one. So we'll find out in a minute, I suppose, won't I? Oh, I don't know what it is, it's bloody old. Not into these things. Right. Right, so lovely flowers this time of year, isn't it? Spring comes summer. I want to have a talk about getting some off my chest. And it's to do with what, you know, we're all let people do stuff, or governments do stuff and we hum, hum and ah about it, but nothing's done about it. And what's happened with China over the last 10 years in respect of why, you know, releasing SARS and now coronavirus. A lot of people could think it's, you know, let's damage the economies of the, you know, other Westerners, because we, because the regime, not the actual people of China, but the actual regime, hates Western civilizations in respect of they don't like democracies, people having their own way. They're, they're communists and they rule by dictatorship in that respect. A bit like, oh no, I'm not, no, I'm not very up on stuff. So a bit like probably Hitler did or whatever to get his people to rally around, but not to get his people. China tend to dictate the way they want to do stuff and it's Australia's been hard at it you know Australian Sky News and everything's been hard at it with with China saying they're assholes basically for doing what they've done whether it's intentional or, or unintentional you know you never know do you because you know um, how do you damage economies around the world without actually aiming a weapon in, you know like a having fights and uh, yeah so to me I said a statement on my electric vi electric bike video that I would not buy anything else from China new I will not buy anything else from China that's me personal see but see personal individual statements or, or uh, actions don't amount to much over the general whole thing and now China have decided, you know, you have your own opinions and you do what you want to do. China's decided that um, they put a, an action in to law over Hong Kong that Hong Kong could not. They can't have uh, any democracy protests and stuff, you know, we don't, we're putting protests about this action or whatever. And you can get locked up for protesting now, you, you know. But China, when we, all hen we handed over Hong Kong, there was a 50-year agreement, and this was signed by China and signed by the United Nations that they would not change anything untoward in China. In sorry, in Hong Kong, det detriment the Hong Kong people. And what have they done? Completely opposite. Brought into a law that you can't protest in China. So, what's the United Nations said about this? Naff all. Naff all. They haven't said nothing. Nothing in the last two days. The United Nations, where China and the United Nations all got together and signed this agreement that they agreed to, and they've just laughed them in the face. China's doing what they want to do. Stuff everybody else, we are going to do what we want to do. The dictatorship in that country is doing what they want to do. Maybe over the next few days there might be sanctions against, I mean, you know, they'll the, the sanction them. China just go, whatever, we don't care. 
but the sanctions side of it, it won't be enough to be a detriment to the society of, of China and obviously they don't want to harm the people in China themselves who actually work for a living but what can you do? Leave a comment down below in the comment section what do you think we should do about this China situation because it's, it's really peeing me off um, so I thought I'd have a quick five minute burble about it because I'm really pissed off with and, and what does Boris Johnson do? He decides, oh, well, we're going to let up to three, three million Hong Kong citizens come to our country, which is brilliant. If they want to come, let them come. I'm all for it. Nothing against that whatsoever. But nothing against, you know, China's done something wrong here. They're not supposed to do this. Um, they're supposed, you know, they signed a UN agreement not to do this, etc., etc. So we're going to do so and so. Or we're going to talk to other UN members in respect of um, of sorting something out. But do they do that? No. They just um, Rav, whatever his name is, Dominic Rav. I can't remember his name. So no, we can, we can um, allow if they don't want to stay there because of the, what's happening. Then they, if they've got a BNO, uh, British National Overseas Passport, then uh, we c they can come to our country, which is brilliant. I don't mind anybody coming to our country at all. Um, you got to live within the rules in that con our country, and and not be. Uh, I know you're going to get some. I'm not saying what nationalities, but we we got some of the EU that were, you know rogues and villains that are now rogues and villains over here which is bollocks but I can't do it about that so um you should order a status you can't come over if you've got a, a record for doing x y and z but no we'll let everybody in um anyway that's my five minute rant over but what do you think I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, this is about me and what I think personally that China have done to the world in the last 10 years and have done to millions of people over the last three months and wrecked, econ not wrecked, but put economies in a poor situation around the world and lots of people losing their jobs and causing people to say stuff. Um, but they're laughing their, laughing their tits off these. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say something else actually. The ones in power, the, uh, whatever his name is, in Beijing. I can't even. I don't even know his name. I don't want to know his name. Um, the, uh, anyway, I'm lost for words because I'm so annoyed about what they've done. Anyway, end of. I just wanted to put that one out on my uh, thing on video. Leave a comment below, please, if you think China should have consequences. Actions in life, any action you do leads you on a certain path, has consequences and reactions. That's the three. That's the three norms. Actions, consequences, and then further actions upon the consequences you've made. Oh, sorry, the actions you've made. That's the three norms. But we're totally tatted down out the government get, get some out of it. So bakery's open again. Right, and love you and leave you. I said tatty bye for now. Bye bye.